Hello everyone. Let's solve this problem very quickly. Okay, so we have um, square root of 2 to the power of square root of x equal to 64 to the power of x. Now our target here is to make sure that we have the same base. Okay? And this is the same thing as 2 to the power of 1 over 2 to the power of square root of x. Because 2 to the power of 1 over 2 is the same thing as square root of 2. This is 64 to the power of x. And then the next thing I will do is to multiply the powers here, right? So I will have 2 to the power of square root of x over 2. That is, if I multiply the power. Then on the right hand side, 64 is 2 to the power of 6. Then I have x outside. Okay, now I can still multiply the power over there. So I have 2 to the power of root x over 2 equal to 2 to the power of 6x. Now we have the same basis. We will equate the powers. So square root of x over 2 is equal to 6x. Now we can cross multiply. So we have square root of x to be equal to 12x. But then we can as well take the square of both sides so that we can eliminate the square root. So we have this squared. This will cancel this and x will be alone and it will be equal to 12 squared multiplied by x squared. Because this square is for both of them, 12 and x. Then if we continue, x will be equal to square of 12 is 1, 4, 4, then x squared. Now I want to rearrange this. So we're going to have 1, 4, 4, x squared equal to x. Then the next thing is to bring everything to the left. So we have 1, 4, 4, x squared minus x to be equal to 0. Now we can square, you know, we can factor out the x. So if x comes out here, I have 1 for 4x, then minus 1 equals 0. From here, we'll apply 0 product rule that x is either equal to 0 or 1 for 4x is equal to, okay, 1 for 4x minus 1 is equal to 0. This is minus 1 equal to 0. Okay. So x here is equal 0. Or on this side, 1, 4, 4, x is equal to 0 plus 1. And that is 1. So we are going to continue with this. Okay. So from here, x remains 0. Or on this side, um, x will be equal to 1 over 144. What we have done is to divide both sides by, by the coefficient of x, which is 1, 4, 4. Now let's bring the two solutions together. x1 is equal to 0, and x2 is 1 over 1, 4, 4. Now let's go back to the original equation and check. We have um, square root of 2 to the power of square root of x being equal to 64 to the power of x. And now if you put 0 into this, if you put 0 into this um, equation, automatically you're going to have square root of 2 to the power of 0 equal to 64 to the power of 0. And any number to the power of 0 is 1, right? So we have 1 equal to 1. So therefore, this means that x to be equal to 0 satisfies the equation now the original equation remains square root of 2 to the power of square root of x equals 64 to the power of x and then the value of x for now is 1 over 1 or 144 so we have square root of 2 to the power of square root of 1 over 144 
equal to 64 to the power of 1 over 144. Okay, so this is what I have. But then remember that our, you know, this um may not this may not be equal so let me circle this now this is the same as square root of 2 to the power of 1 over 12 how did i get 12 because um the square root of 1 is 1 square root of 144 is 12 now will this be equal to 64 to the power of 1 over 144 now let's continue with this let's continue with this because if you continue from here this is square root of 2 which is the same thing as 2 to the power of 1 over 2 multiplied by 1 over 12 okay so that if we continue with this will this be equal to 64 to the power of 1 over 144 now hold on we are going to get it right now we have 2 to the power of 1 times 1 is 1 then 2 times 20, um, 12 is 24. now let's try to get something like this on the right yes let's try to get that on the right now this 64 here is the same thing as 2 to the power of 6 then the power of 1 over 144 will still appear now the next thing is this we have 2 to the power of 1 over 24 on the left now will this be equal to 2 to the power of 1 over now 6 into 144 let's break it down 6 into 14 will give us 2 remainder of 2 right okay making this one 24 6 into the 24 there will give us some um, 4 Okay, so now we have seen that the left-hand side and the right-hand side are equal. So we can now say that x to be equal to 1 over 144 also satisfies the given equation. Thank you for watching.